Sword Soul? D DDs? Zephyr? Magician? Is even my first place Sword Soul Pendulum deck profile. All the gas, all the gas. You have to come at me with 5,000 hand traps to stop me, and even then, it won't happen. Don't play Sword Soul, don't play Pendulums, play Sword Soul Pendulums. Let's go. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, I want you guys to comment down below right now. Comment down below right now what deck you guys want me to build next. Let's get started, baby. Sword Soul Pendulums right here, right now. Let's go. This video is sponsored by the very tasteful Celine Playmat, which you can get now on www.tripgaming.com. First link down in the description. While supplies last, there is only five left, baby. Five more left in circulation. Get your Celine Playmats now. First things first, you are going to want to play three Oracle of Zephyrus. Don't play too many Zephyrus. I'm going to show you guys the whole package, okay? So it's three Oracle of Zephyrus, two Oracle of Zephyrus, one Terraforming, three Zephyr Providence, two Zephyrath, two... Zephyr Nui and one Zephraxi with one counter trap. Okay, so you only want to play this package. You don't want to play too many Zephras. For example, we're not playing three Oracle of Zephras. We're not playing three Zephrath. The reason behind this is simply that you do not want, you, you absolutely do not want to have the scenario where you just draw all Zephras. That's not good. It's very bad. You do not want that. If you draw too many Zephras, then it runs the risk of uh, drawing hands of like, Pure Zephyr. You don't want that. You're playing Zephyr, Sword Soul, DDD, Magicians, Insert Pile, Sick Ass Pendulum Cards, etc. That makes your opponent forced to have like five interruptions. And if they don't have these interruptions, they're cooked. And you want your opponent to be cooked. That's the game plan. Make your opponent cook. Make your opponent cry. Make your opponent sad. Make your opponent wish they never went to Locals again because your deck is just that amazing. That's the game plan here. And you can't do that with Zephyrs. You could, however, do that with other worms. What else is a worm? Sword Soul, baby. That's where the synergy comes in. So even with like a, it seems like Zep Zephyr Nui might be a break. Zephyraxi might be a break. But because Sword Souls are, need worms, it's really not. Now this is the Sword Soul package I'm going to show you guys. Also, before we continue, if you if these guys are confusing to you, you're probably a Macedon Duelist. If you're a Macedon Duelist and you guys don't care about TCG, make sure to check out, okay, my Patreon. If you go to my Patreon, I talk about Macedon only. So Mazadol Duelists, hop on the Patreon, baby, or check out my streams where I only stream Master Duel. So check those out. Also, for all TC players want to get better at Patreon, Master Duel, check out the Patreon as well. All right, no more plugs, baby. The only plug we're going to do is us plugging into victory against all of our opponents. This is now the Sword Soul engine. Three Emergence, three Ecclesia. Ecclesia being a tuner is also very vital, not just the fact that it brings out uh, sword Soul cards, sometimes you literally just synchro with it or make Needle Fiber. Uh, the actual Sword Soul cards, two Moye, one Taiye. You don't want too many. One Long Yuan as well. You don't want too many. You search it whenever you need it with Emergence. You, you, like, there's just no requirement to play more. Uh, one Adhara. You play one Adhara because Taiye could send Adhara to the graveyard and Baxia could summon it back. And this comes up a lot, very often. And the, literally, you get a free out with Adhara as well. Uh, because Oridon brings up tokens, you can still use it hard as a fact with the tokens to get a free card. And at the end of the Oridon combo, you end on uh, long, you use long one effect afterwards when you free up the space. So Adhara is very important as well to play. Uh, don't play three Moye. Again, you don't want to draw all Sword Soul. You're not playing Trash Ass Sword Soul. You're not playing Trash Ass Pure Zephra. You're playing a combination of greatness. So you want to draw a little of each each engine. That's why you don't want to play too many of each. Next, we're going to uh, play the DD, show you guys the DD engine now. Three Contract. Two DD Kepler, uh, one Lamia, one DD God. Follow the pen God, baby. So the reason why you play two Kepler and not three is the exact same reason you play two Zephyrath. Also, the Sword Soul engine is a normal summon engine. You do Pendulum Summon the Sword Souls. So the Sword Souls get Pendulum Summoned a lot. If you open Kepler, Lamia, or whatever, I'll just explain why you play DD Go or God, whatever it's called. You play this because you're a pen god and you need a fellow cousin of yours to also be in the deck just for good measure. Shout out my boy Jesus. I love him. All glory to God. 
uh, which is not him. This is not, there's only one God. His name is Jesus Christ. Let's go, Lord and Savior. Uh, sometimes Dark Contract is gonna want to search your your a low scale, a low scale because Zephra already has a high scale guaranteed with Zephrath. So you want a low scale searchable card. On top of that, there's a, no one knows its effect. It's a fact. You contribute some in this card and literally obliterate your opponent. It attacks four thousand directly. When your opponent's at four thousand or less, it, it gains four thousand attack and attacks directly for four thousand. So it's a it's a cheesy way to win sometimes. And you don't want too many normal summons. Like you have two Keplers, you, you, you literally you don't normal summon the the DD the the Sword Soul engine. You, you sometimes normal summon the Sword Soul engine to play it like sometimes. And there's a lot of tricks with this deck. For example, sometimes. I'll explain the tricks at the very end of the video, so you guys are going to stay tuned for the whole video. Next, the Magician Engine. Uh, Pen Call works so well with DD Lamio, you just discard that. Uh, it's it just a very good engine to have in a Tuner Engine, and it basically completes the deck. Two Duelist Alliance, two Harmonizing. The same reasoning, you don't want to draw all Magicians. So two Duelist Alliance, three Pen Call, two Harmonizing. Uh, one Oaf Dragon, one White Wing, one Celestial. These are the three Magicians you play that are not... Uh, like the harmonizing you still want to make sure to be able to resolve harmonizing and the reason why you play these three specifically and not pearl poison is i ain't scared of no floodgates what the heck i'm not i don't give a shit about fucking trap decks this wh like what's pearl poison really saving you from this format who gives a shit about pearl poison i don't give i don't care but i don't need it what you do need those tuners white wing synchro a synchro summoning with zephyr nui is very important it's very important you need a random high scale that's not harmonizing and oaf dragon is needed for baron to floor so these are very important to play. And Baron's a massive part of this deck. If you guys don't have like are, are on a budget, don't play this deck. All right, there's no budget involved. Speaking of budget, three prosperity. Yeah, play budget with this. And no disrespect to my people that works at McDonald's. I love myself some Big Macs, but I also love myself some Prosperities, which is the real Big Mac. And also, my opponent eats a lot of Big Macs. Uh, you probably don't want to eat them as well. Uh, I should probably lay off the Big Macs as well. I'm putting on a little bit of weight. And by weight, I mean I'm destroying my opponent with pendulums. Five negates all day, baby. And one Despot 01. It just, you don't play Colt Wing, you just play one. It's 44 cards. My earlier version played 50. My 50 card version had a third Moye, a third Harmonizing, a third Kepler, a third Zephyrath, a third Oracle of Zephyr, and a third Duelist Alliance. The issue with playing, like this is a broken hand. Imagine drawing this hand. So broken. But you see, the, the issue is, is that you draw, like, of course, when you draw a hand like this, where it's just like the greatest cards ever, like literally one of each of your engine, of course it's broken. But by playing so many Zephyrs, there's going to be hands where you draw four Zephyr cards and like a fucking like something else, like a Lamia. Like in retrospect, that's fine because it gets you the Needle Viper combo. But nonetheless, you uh, you don't want to have too many. You're like all DDs or like uh, only DDs and Zephyr. That, that loses to one hand trap essentially. Like you don't want that. So you want to make sure you have a little of each, and that's why you want to cut the deck uh, to just minor engines of each, not to draw too many of them all. I'll show you guys extra deck, and if you guys, for everyone who stays through the end, I'll show you guys a bunch of tips, how to play random Biru, how to side deck, uh, how to combo, all that stuff. Uh, but only if you smash the like button. And, you know, I have a camera by my FBI agent that follows all my every move and your every move. And your FBI agent is going to tell my FBI agent who did not subscribe and who did not smash like button. And I'll figure that out. And then I'm going to message my FBI agent to message your FBI agent to do some bad things to you. Like accidentally put an Elledge deck in your bag to force you to play Elledge the next day. Literally the horrors. Can you imagine that? I will do that. I will do that if you don't smash the like button. I will ask my FBI agent to tell your FBI agent to put an Elledge deck in your bag. And that'll show you for not smashing the like button and subscribe button. Extra deck now. One Needle Fiber, one Oradon. The only links required. You don't need anything else. This is all you need. Needle Fiber is going to get hand trapped a lot of the time. If you start off with DD Kepler, you do that right away. If you start off with DD Kepler, uh, this is the bait. Let them hand trap. I hope they hand trap Needle Fiber. I'm like, thank you, bro. You're the best, brother. You get Pen 5 and put a, a huge board. And then with Needle Fiber, you go Formula Synchron, Desert Locust. Literally, the most underrated effect of Needle Fiber is not that it summons a tuner. It's the fact that it literally summons any tuner synchro that have value on the opponent's turn. And on top of value on the opponent's turn, synchros on the opponent's turn. Uh, if you don't start with DD, uh, the DD line, let's say you start with the Sword Soul line. So let's say you start off Moye, Reveal Zephyr, uh, Zephyr Nui, Summon, Shishao, Lan Yuan, Discard, Baron. So you got Shishao, Baron before the Pen Summon. The, I'm going to give a huge tip right now. For everyone, tips like this are on Patreon all the time. You can sign up if you want. 
Uh, okay, no more selling out, baby. The only thing we're not going to sell is in the gates and on Patreon. <laughs> Anyways, so if you start off with Sword Soul, Moya, Rigo, Shishao, Baron, that plays around Nibiru. If they Nibiru before you make Baron, who gives a shit? You just pen summon. It's just there. The Sword Soul plays there to like bait interruptions. However, if you have Harmonizing Magician, what, the best play typically is pen four, uh, pen three with Harmonizing summoning something out. Zephyr Nui, add the trap. And then save your normal summon for later. Then you make Baron on the fifth summon. And then you do Needle Fiber plays Ordon. So you go Ordon, Needle Fiber, all that. You make Yazi, Ordon, Pop Yazi, bring up Taye or Moye, whatever. And then save your normal summon for the very end. Uh, also, another play is when you make a big ass pendulum board, four negates, and then you just end on Needle Fiber. Like go Needle Fiber, summon out a tuner, synchro with that tuner, and then keep Needle Fiber on the field. And then Needle Fiber will bring out Desert Locust to discard a card from your opponent. And then Synchro Summon Desert Locust with like a Moye or something that's just chilling there into another Baron to Floor or a Changing or a Satellite Warrior, which is the main idea of this deck. That it's like you have a bunch of negates, but Satellite Warrior will destroy everything with, with Desert Locust and Formula Synchron. Next, we play Dragster and Yazi for the Synchro Sevens. Amazing. You, that's all you need. With Yazi, we got Baxia. I want to play two Baxia, but screw it. <laughs> Doesn't matter. This deck's insane. These cards are insane. To round out the Synchro 8s, we got Shishao and we got Draglite. Shout out to my Emancipator Duelist. You guys should probably take a shower. But guess what? Draglite stays in our deck. Let's go. And he showers a lot, let me tell you. He's a good card, great card. Not only does it negate a Speller Trap, but guess what? You play three Zephrath, or you play two Zephraths, baby. I'm telling you, you'll be surprised how many times you get lucky off excavating Zephrath a rock and uh, getting rid of a card for free. One more Synchro 8. It's, it is pretty important. And that's Omega. The reason why you play Omega. Oridog takes up four, uh, five monster zones out of the six monster zones. Sometimes you're going to literally need to just make Omega with Harmonizing to clear space. Get rid of a card and Interruption for free. And then go into the Oridog combo. Shen Shen. Very important. You just need a Synchro 9 Interruption. Uh, to make with Desert Locust or Formula Synchron a lot of the times. On top of that, you want a Synchro 9 to make sometimes with weird levels. It's a good interruption, this format. Baron to Floor, Cheng Ying, Satellite Warrior, which I don't have. I don't own it, uh, but you need it. You really need it. I don't know why I can't find it anywhere, but you need a Satellite Warrior. Next, One Dweller. One Dweller. You play a bunch of rank 4s. Post side deck. You'll be surprised. Dweller Pass. Defeats 90% of Dex's format. It's crazy. <laughs> it's actually wild. I don't know why. I don't know how. It's just insane. Make sure to play Dweller. Uh, side deck now. So beautiful extra deck. If you can't afford Baron to Floor, get a drop. Maybe as my editor. Because I need an editor. Three Sphere Modes. You already know what it is. My balls have been with me since time. Lava Golem. You already know. That's my boy. Lava Golem have been in my side deck since 2015. I never even played Yu-Gi-Oh! until 2017. Three Dark Ruler. Listen, guys. I don't know about your locals, but my locals, every other player is playing DDD. Guess what, guys? What cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! destroy DDD? All of these, baby. Let's go. The whole nine. The whole nine, bro. All nine of them. Let's go. And want to know what else is nine? <laughs> the mountain the gates we put up let's go you already know what it is you already know what it is next three mystic mind you think those those were enough for combo decks no here's how you win against combo decks you literally draw one of these 12 and you win the duel that's it mystic mind no one has mystic mind outs right now no one siding no one cares for back row decks y'all forgot about mystic mind everyone's imperial lord is banned shot to oblivion fuck that card Mystic Mind is even crazier than ever before. Don't look at me that way. Oh, Trip plays Mystic Mind. Shut the hell up. Of course I'll play Mystic Mind. The card's insane. So you put in Mystic Mind in here, and now you have 12 cards to side for combo decks. I don't care if I drop four of them. I don't care. I don't care. Activate one of them. Pen call the other. GG, my friend. Let's go. And then for back row decks, one Red Reboot, one Feather Duster, one Dino Wrestler. Dino Wrestler, you can also side versus combo decks. I don't care if it's 13 cards. It might seem like a lot, but guess what? You have zero defensive cards already. You have zero. And for those that watch my vlogs, these this side deck has come in insane clutch uh, so many times. So many times. It's vital. Now, if you're if if one thing that this does lose to 
is DPE psyched in, in the draw phase. Okay, I, I, it's one hundred percent. I know. If your deck has a lot of, if your local has a lot of based decks, switch your side deck up. Side deck is made specifically for the tournament you're playing at. My locals has maybe one base player and fucking 20 DD players, bro. I'm prepared for my locals and then some Flunder idiots. So we're prepared for Flunder. I don't need the side for Flunder is fucking free. I don't need a side for that deck. But nonetheless, we have a few stuff in here for Flunder. What's Flunder doing to all these cards? Nothing. Mystic Mind saves us three turns until they search for their continuous spell and we kill their ass. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sword Soul Pendulum, best deck, baby. First place at locals multiple times and guess what we're going to get even more first place baby if you guys want more videos like this make sure to smash the subscribe button make sure to comment down below let me know exactly what decks you guys want to see next smash the like button if you want to support your boy check out the play mats down in the description below we got a plethora of beautiful pendulum play mats go check them out and all master duel duelists don't worry you know i got some love for you too just a bit on my patreon and my streams so check those out for all master duel duelists i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video sword pen best deck let's go